So I am working on um, the specifics of designing the underbed storage now while Andy is um, working on building the overhead cabinet still. So I go out and give him a second set of hands if he needs a second set of hands and other than that I'm planning the underbed storage. Um, so we have this plan uh, in the SketchUp app um, or online. Um, which, if we were doing this all in three quarter inch plywood, um, this would be enough to get the measurements from and just build it. But we're not, we want to save weight, so um, we're translating this um, to a sheet of paper um, so we can do a stick build. Um, anyway, so we're, we're translating a 3D um, model into 2D so that we can get all the specific measurements. Um, and then I'm listing out over here um, how many replicas we need of the same length. So we need 27 inches of one by twos. We need 11 of them um, for all these supports going across here. Anyway, so hopefully that will be lighter than the um, just doing full three quarter inch plywood build um, and we'll save us a little weight back there. This is our latest little toy from Harbor Freight. It was about 30 bucks. And we have a flush trim bit and we have some straight bits for it. And it comes with a little fence so the brackets that are coming out of the ceiling need to come through the top of the cabinet and so we use the fence to set up a three quarter inch straight bit to come in right at the edge of this. So from the inside we have these little uh, channels for our L brackets to come in through the ceiling. We uh, traced those on yesterday with the dry fit so we knew where to put them. And now I'm just attaching the skin. So we have one last skin on the bottom and then uh, we can make the doors or hang it when we're ready. Sweet. So <laughs> as we were um, nailing the Luan on the outside of the cabinet, um, so as we were nailing this stuff on with all these little tiny nails that don't take a whole lot of effort to go in. Um, the pocket holes that we had drilled in just blew out. Um, so this piece was hanging out down here and the screw was just hanging up here. Um, so we have thrown a bunch of wood glue in there and we're clamping them um, on both sides. They blew out. So we are waiting for that to set up. Um, holy cow. <laughs> really a frustrating, kind of scary moment. Um, so on the next set of cabinets that we're doing almost this exact same way, we are going to have, oh, I don't have them right now. Anyway, we're just gonna put little supports in here in between the two sides so that as we are hammering on this side, um, this has more to support it than just the screw. Um, I think the screws will be fine to hold it once it's um, sitting at the top as just a cabinet, but for taking blows from a hammer, it couldn't hold it. Um, yeah, so hopefully that will set up and stay strong, um, and hopefully we will stay strong <laughs> and keep moving forward. All right, so there is the back wall, basically, of the bed support with all of the supports just laid out. Still need to um, actually put it together, <laughs> but all the pieces are cut, so that's exciting. So we are wood puttying all the little holes, the nails, and I am sanding uh, just these two by twos because those are all that'll be visible um, after we put Lou on on the boards for the underbed storage.
So we took the clamps off briefly to do wood putty and nothing exploded. So hopefully it's still in good shape. Mm -hmm. And I have pilot hole or not pilot holes, I'm working on that. I have Craig jig holes. holes. What? Pocket holes. Pocket holes. Those. Um, in the frame of this, um, and we're gonna do some pilot holes so that nothing splits. And yeah, we're making good progress. Okay, so end of day 32, I think. We have this. Let's see, that can focus. Um, in the back, that is just not focusing for us, is it? Um, so it's all built and connected and two inches away from the back wall <laughs> because it's a little bit too long and this is in the way. Um, no, actually, maybe it's not. Anyway, um, it's, it's not quite where we need it to be yet, um, but we will start with that tomorrow um, to get that figured out. Um, but it's, it's nice to see something going up, kind of, in here. The cabinet is still um, holding on to, still has the clamps on it, waiting uh, for the, the, the wood glue to set up. Uh, in here we have the brackets hung, um, so that we can just slot the cabinet up. One of us will hold it and the other one will screw through into the dividers to hold it up there. So all in all, pretty good day. We got a lot done. Um, and hopefully we're pretty well set for tomorrow as well. I think we'll, we'll be able to hit the ground running tomorrow. So going well.